Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Uh, today, I have something very special. All right, so Chris and I, as you know, in one of the last videos, played Unusual Adventure, and it was a great map. It was really fun, and it was really great and unique to see an actual normal, random, silly, well-thought-out adventure map for Gary's Mod. That really made me and Chris happy, and we enjoyed it. Anyways, if you guys had noticed by the comment section, the creator of Unusual Adventure had actually commented saying he'd like an interview, so he's here today. Hi, everybody, and thank you for having me. Uh, it's great to have you, man. Uh, so anyways, we'll just uh, do a quick introduction. Uh, basically, yeah, sure. you've seen our channel and stuff, and while... Uh, most of this interview is because you saw the video that we did for Unusual Adventure. I'm going to be asking you about tabletop simulator stuff, Monaco stuff, Gary's Mod stuff. This just applies to everything you're doing, the questions I'm going to ask yeah, you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, well, I'm, I, I'm interested in all that stuff, so I've got a lot to talk about in that regard. Sounds great. Sounds great, man. Uh, anyways, so, so I was sitting in with Chris and Viral the other day, and I was setting up some questions for you, and uh, here we go. What inspired you to make Unusual Adventure? Well, uh, not unlike a lot of other Gary's Mod players at the time, uh, when Workshop was fresh, uh, me and a friend of mine would uh, go up on there and see what kind of maps had been released recently. Uh, obviously, a lot of the time it was single player, like um, horror maps full of screamers and... Uh, survival kind of things but every now and then you'd see uh, an adventure kind of style map or just something in a linear fashion that had a, you know, a couple of parts thrown together and uh obviously those were the ones we enjoyed playing the most and we found that there just wasn't quite enough of them to keep going back to so uh Originally, we played through, I don't know if you've played through any of these maps, but um, Nipper's maps, Nipper's Surreal maps are really good. Um, and Shadow Grim Gravy's Phobia series. We rem I is, remember Shadow Grim Gravy's Phobia series. Yeah, that's kind of the biggest um, thing f for us to take reference from, really. That was uh, the whole, we played through the Phobia series and we just kind of wanted more of that. Uh, so we figured we had to make it ourselves eventually. And it was a great idea. I mean, it's very appreciative that people actually make adventure maps for Gary's Mod. Come on, Minecraft is winning out in this, people. Yeah. Now, Minecraft I mean, has some amazing, surreal, well-thought-out adventure maps and modifications. And we don't have yeah, as much well, as we could have with Gary's Mod. Exactly, yeah, and it's not like the tools aren't readily available, yeah, because anyone can download the tools for uh, Half-Life 2 and start making their own maps, and uh, especially with surreal kind of things, you, you're really free to kind of do whatever you kind of want, really, and um, it can work really well, and yeah, it's, it, can, yeah it can go well, um, but I think focusing on uh, just exactly like a uh, linear kind of fashion adventure map would be a good start, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, it sounds pretty good. We like the idea of adventure maps. I want to see more of those. And you'll have to link me those surreal maps, because I will definitely think oh, definitely, about... Oh, yeah. I will definitely think about playing those on the channel if you link me those, so... Yeah, well, I know you've heard of Shadowgram Gravy. Uh, he's one of the best, in my opinion, and... I think a lot of people have heard of Nipper. He made uh, he's made countless maps across loads of games. So. Yeah, and I like enjoy those maps that actually stretch the bounds of the imagination, and not just scream or jump scare, scream or jump scare. Um, yeah, and I don't have anything against like uh, horror maps. King Palm, for example, made some brilliant, more original horror maps with less screamer. And more applying to psychological horror and stuff. That was interesting. Yeah, definitely. I think if you can, if you have the capacity to think of that kind of stuff and make it into a, a map or a series of levels, I think that's something that 
everyone can appreciate. Right. And I th- but the limit, I don't know, the limitations of the Source engine right now, um, maybe it's best to wait for Source 2. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know about Source 2. I, I know of it, yeah. I, I, I've obviously never used it, but I've heard Dota is using it, Dota 2 is using it um, or something. And but yeah, from what I've seen, it looks like a more, hopefully, a more user-friendly version of Hammer and Source Editor and that kind of thing. Oh yeah, a lot of Source filmmakers are looking forward to it too. Uh, oh, I uh, don't doubt. Yeah. Yeah, Source filmmaker, brilliant stuff. It's really crazy. I've I've tried it once or twice, but I can't believe the, the things people can do with that. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, so I am curious about your username, which comes into question two. How did you come up with your <laughs> username, Stabmaster Arson? Has it always been that, or...? No, um, it's... it's a, I, I watched a movie called um, Cell Block 4, uh, starring Chris Rock and Deezer D. That kind of, and... Um, yeah, it was made in like 1993 or something. Uh, and there's a character in that called Stabmaster Arson, and oh. I felt like kind of fit in with the rest of the Steam community names. <laughs> nice, nice. That's pretty funny. That's pretty awesome. Uh, how do you feel about the publicity your map got? Like. When you when you started Unusual Adventure, you first made Unusual Adventure, and I'm gonna imagine that's probably one of the first things you did, considering the date yeah. it was released. Because around then, Monaco and Tabletop Simulator didn't exist. Mm. No, um, I mean I tried to make uh, maps in the past, nothing in it, like really special. I made a Counter Strike Source map. <laughs> for example, I mean, I think that's still on FPS Banana or whatever that is now. But uh, yeah, I think the usual adventure was the first thing that I kind of pl- almost planned out and saw definitely saw through to the end and went back through and get polished it and that kind of thing. Uh, but it, I wasn't expecting any response to it really, uh, especially as Workshop was relatively new. Um, I don't know if many people were using it, or even if they were just using it for horror maps or that kind of thing. I don't know if it would have fit in with the rest of the maps, but uh, it, yeah, it seemed to work. And not straight away, but um, eventually, I, Unusual Adventure 1 got into the most popular on the workshop, like, number one spot for a week or so. Oh, which yeah. Which is crazy. That's actually... Yeah. That's actually when me and Chris found it, and we, like, put it in oh, our... Oh, really? St- yeah, and we, like, put it in our stuff. Because Chris, he's great at searching for good maps. He, like, reviews them himself. Oh, and Chris is yeah. really curious, like, when it gives, like, little to know about the map, he actually plays it a few seconds himself. Yeah. And decides if he's going to get bored to death with it or not. <laughs> That's a pretty good choice, to be honest. Yeah. I've seen a lot of uh, videos where it's just people walking through it mindlessly. Yeah. Not really sure where to go and stuff. And, like, Chris, but, uh, Chris likes the ones that look unique, or they're really dark, or they have that attribute to them where you can screw around on it. Because if, you, yeah, if you've, mean, like, watched uh, some of the Gmod Horror videos, Chris does, like, really silly stuff in the maps. Like, he becomes uh, objects and things like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Def- I yeah. think um, sometimes some of those maps maybe re- require that kind of thing to keep it going. Because mm-hmm. when when you get your face screamed in like twenty times in a row, it can obviously knock the edge off a little bit. Yeah, obviously. I like think... we're trying to have fun when we do our videos and stuff yeah. like that. We're not trying to pull a Venturian tale. This definitely ain't for kids. This is like <laughs> we're not trying to pull a Vanos game or anything like that. We're trying to pull an us. We're trying to do. Yeah, what, oh, we're trying to do what yeah. we always do. It's like what we're doing with our like maps and stuff was the crap we used to do together as friends on Xbox before all this YouTube stuff started, and like we yeah. really liked to like record the times we had playing games and stuff like that, just so we could watch back 
we never expected any kind of audience and our audience ain't that big but it's definitely big as opposed to the number of people i've ever communicated with yeah well that's a that's a pretty interesting thing i mean i've kind of mentioned something like that well kind of but yeah, that's uh, pretty crazy. Yeah, I'm think gonna, about I'm it. Gonna be honest, I can't imagine 317 people in one room. I can't count that many. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> you can't. All the, all there to see you as well. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. And you know, it's not just me. Chris, Viral, Ben, KG. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's. I mean, that chemistry must work. I mean. Yeah. It's all, good. All the friends we've had on there guests or official members otherwise have contributed and we've always had fun i don't upload anything unless i've laughed at least once or unless i've had some kind of fun that's good i mean a lot of other youtubers don't do that and they will upload anything yeah so, no and, Glad you're screening it for laughs. We we fuck we fuck that. around. We act like idiots. We have fun, or god damn it, it ain't worth viewing. Good good idea, yeah. No, it's yeah. Now this one I'm really curious about because we played through the maps ourselves, and I want to know this. Were there any secrets or Easter eggs we may have missed in your maps? And the reason I asked this is because when we interviewed Akuma Kira about his Shadows maps, which I have to say they were great horror maps because they were creative and they got like those silly intermission moments. Those were fun. But he showed yeah. us the secret gun he had behind the soda machine. And I was curious to know if there were any Easter eggs we should have noticed or like any secrets like that. Uh... I wish I could tell you that yes, there were was was something really crazy hidden somewhere. But uh, the only thing I can think of really is um, in the unusual adventure episode two, uh, episode one. Sorry, um, there is a there's a book in the spaceship room. Uh, if you look at it, it kind of it's got like a pretty funny image on it, but <laughs> that's about it. I think we actually picked that thing up. It was like beside the camera. I think. Yeah, that's you got to kind of look at it as a certain angle and stuff, but yeah, we we were like trying to solve the uh, the puzzle to get out of the room and move on, which was pretty fun, I have to say. Yeah, and I like the way you've made your maps look and the time you've spent with them. I'm really impressed by that. But you know, oh, well, thank you. Uh, I mean, I've had a lot of. Well, as I say, my friend and I were the uh, ones who went through all these maps, so we have got a lot of. Uh, we did get a lot of ideas while we were, while we were playing through those, so we did have something to kind of fall back on. If you see what I mean? Yeah, and like, uh, you know, we're really excited for when um, episode two of Unusual Adventure two comes out. We're anticipating that, but. Um, you know, the trailer you sent me, that's got me really excited too because like the preview and stuff I got of that, that looks really interesting and I like it. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to criticize your past maps or anything, but I'm definitely noticing like you added a lot more and there's improvement to this thing you're working on. And I'm, yeah, well, I'm curious when to I've... see what it, what it, what it upholds. It's... Yeah. Um, the thing, yeah, this, well, as I say, I've seen videos of uh, people playing through my old maps and stuff, and they do take very different approaches to how I would imagine, you know, when you design a map, you kind of imagine how someone would play it, if you see what I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so watching videos and people doing something completely different but still getting through it is, is kind of interesting. So... Uh. The the new thing about this this new map um, is that it can be done in a lot of different ways, and it will facilitate that. Uh, I'll yeah okay I'll I'll just tell you what it is. Um, if you yeah, you saw the video and uh, mm -hmm. you, yeah, so um, unusual adventure two is coming a, a bit later on. The video I sent you was. Um, 
for unusual adventure intermission. Yeah. Which is I'm really excited about this unusual adventure intermission. It's no unusual adventure too, but it no. definitely looks like it's gonna be worth the wait. Yeah, oh yeah. I, I'm aiming for something a little different with intermission, um, especially because, as I say, I've been seeing YouTube videos of people doing things a lot differently. Uh, so people like things like big gunfights in cool-looking environments, uh, but generally might get a little uh, frustrated with jumping puzzles or really monotonous puzzles that kind of thing so mm. intermission is going to kind of bring things down a little bit uh it's gonna it's gonna be co-op with four players um well up to four players uh there's gonna be one big hub room in the center which will lead off into the other areas of the map uh which you can kind of do in any order uh until you've got everything done and then a big finale will happen that kind of thing oh. uh, so obviously some there's some rooms that will have some light puzzle elements to them and some rooms that'll be big gunfights and there'll be some rooms that'll be just crazy environments that you've got to have to try and get your way through so uh, yeah it's going to be a little different in that regard but you don't have any release dates planned yet so there's still like a lot of work to be done uh, yeah, kinda, yeah. <laughs> I can't really talk about the release date right now, but uh, it's, it's, it's in progress, it's being made, uh, it's try it's gonna be as best as it can be, really. You pretty much answered my last three questions, six, seven, and eight. I mean, like, I was, yeah. I was gonna <laughs> ask, do you plan on making future content? Well, that's a yes. Uh... When can we expect your next release? Nothing labeled. You're not going to give any of that away. Nothing uh, in regards kinda, to the adventure. You kind of pretty much already gave future details as well, which is pretty good. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I'm making something for Tabletop Simulator soon. That, that'll that be out um, pretty soon in the next few weeks, probably. Mm. If there's a date on that, at least. Any more stuff uh, for uh, Monaco? Because we do plan on playing uh, Monaco eventually. Uh, I've not made or gone back to Monaco since I made that one Monaco map, but uh, I'd be interested to go back to it and see what could be done. Yeah, yeah I told Josh, and he's like, we should definitely consider playing that one. Because Josh like, saw us playing Unusual Adventure. And I, he's not a huge Gary's Mod guy, but at times yeah. he gets in the mood, so we, like, screw around and stuff. And that's actually what uh, this upload I'm doing right now is currently going to be about. I think you'll enjoy it. It has... Uh, oh, I can tell you who it has. I can't tell you what it has in it, but I can tell you who it has. Right, okay. It has me, yeah. of course. I'm in every video. <laughs> it's my channel. <laughs> Uh, it has Chris, it has Viral, it has Ben, and it has Blake. And let me tell you, it was pretty fun. It was pretty good. Oh, man, I'm looking forward to that now. Got me hyped up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, if you think, like, stuff is crazy, like, I don't know if you've seen any stuff that have Ben and Blake in it. I might have seen a couple of things, yeah. As I say, I only came to your channel quite recently, so... yeah. And it's like, uh, it's very appreciative that, like, you came to my channel and you actually viewed some of my past content. Because I've noticed, like, my past content doesn't seem to get very many views as my present content does. And I'm, like, wondering why my viewers don't go back and view past content. And I know I definitely do when I go, when I see a YouTuber I like, I'll go back and watch some of the videos. I, I mean, it's, like, it's all there and cataloged and it's all the same person so i mean it's all going to be the yeah, same it's like i'm not going to be all concept. big and bad about it but the thing i like to emphasize on people is like they keep asking me when are you making your next video and it's like guys i have almost 300 videos i'm sure you can be patient <laughs> i'm sure you can yeah yeah exactly and i think they've got quite a backlog to go through first <laughs> And you should do the back walk to see, like, where people started and, like, how they are now. It's always so surprising. Yeah, I like to do that. Because sometimes channels you like today were something else entirely before they are what they are today. 
Yeah, and it's course, like yeah. it's like interesting to know that. Uh, you know, so I've appreciated the interview. I'm glad you really took me up on the offer. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad you asked. Honestly, yeah, thank you so much it's just for like, <laughs> like asking me. It's just like we really enjoyed the maps, and I wanted to meet you because I like to talk to the. Like I've always, like whenever I play something I like or something like that, I always think, you know, I want to talk to this person. I want to meet them. I want to know how this came to be. Yeah, like, um, I've got a couple of stories about that kind of thing as well. Um, I've, like, you know, I've got Nipper and Shadow Grim Gravy on my friends list on Steam now because of this. Oh, and that, yeah. that was something I would never have expected to happen before it, so it's crazy, yeah. No, I'm not going to mooch or anything, but if you can, put a good word in for us. I'd like to interview those guys, too. Oh, you know what? Okay, I will do. Oh. There you go. Shadow Grim Gravy interview lined up. <laughs> yes. No, let's not get ahead of ourselves, but... I would like for them to know I exist so I can try. Just try. I'm not I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, you got to do this with me. I don't like being that person. I don't like being that guy that makes people feel like they're forced or anything like that. Yeah, I mean... When I play with, when I play with my group friends... Maybe he's a pretty nice guy. You know, when I play with my friends, I record whenever I want. And let me tell you, we play games together a lot. And only like fifteen percent of those sessions get recorded. Yeah, because yeah. we like devote our time more to hanging out as friends than we do making videos. Not that we don't enjoy making videos, but we don't like it consuming all of our time. No, that's a really good idea, to be honest. Yeah. And like you probably notice, we don't upload as frequently as any popular YouTuber because we take our time with our stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Well, uh, if you are like screening it for laughs, as you said in the past, like that's the best thing you can do, really. So you can ensure that you've got the highest quality stuff up there every time, and not just uh, padding it out with more video numbers. Yeah. I was like, uh, whenever, whenever something gets really good, like the uh, G the Gmod Space Shenanigans thing I was doing with Ben. And, like, I wanted to do something different with the third one, which was, like, that Christmas special. So I start, I, I uh, contacted some of my friends that, like, taught me a bit of how to edit. I learned how to edit on my own after uh, yeah. my step-uncle, like, taught me things after uh, my first attempt at Sony Vegas with muzzle flashes. Extremely crappy. Oh, man. It was extremely <laughs> crappy. We got... We got trolled by this guy that told us to go die in Oprah's pubic hair or some shit. Christ, man. That guy was an asshole, anyways. He was a jerk. He's still using Vegas now. Oh, yeah, I'm still using Vegas. I got offered by a friend for a free copy of Adobe Premiere, and I think I want to get used to uh, Vegas before, yeah, that's what I, before I even try Adobe Premiere. I'm sorry. It's like. Yeah, like, I, mean, I, know, I don't know how different they are. I know how superior Adobe Premiere is with stuff and things like that, but I think. I want to get good at the current program I have before I try something like Adobe Premiere. Yeah, yeah, you should, yeah I mean, you could try Premiere, just give it a shot. Maybe your skills will carry over. I know I use Premiere, and I've always used Premiere. So. Mm. And we were thinking about moving our conversation stuff to a TeamSpeak, but we'd need like a TeamSpeak server. And like, um, we're trying to get in contact with this guy in our Warframe clan named Tree Venom. To get a team speak so that our voice chats sound better quality, because Skype does have a, yeah. a limitation on the quality. Oh, that's weird. I didn't know that. Um, do you have to buy the team speak servers or what? Do you, can you host them yourself? I don't uh, know much about it. I think if if you want to like host one, you do have to pay for a team speak server. But if you like, um, uh, you can also be invited to one by team speak server hosts and Tree Venom has his own uh, section in a TeamSpeak server, so we're going to speak with Tree Venom and see, oh, I get you. Yeah. And see if we okay. can get that section sanctioned for us and like have that there. Yeah, that would be cool, yeah. Yeah. And it's like, you know, when we started, people complained about the quality and stuff, so it's like, all right, fair enough. We'll try and enhance the quality, but that doesn't, like, 
excuse, it doesn't compensate for much if you're not trying to make like a good video. Yeah, yeah. There's only you can make it like 60 frames per second in 1080p, but you could still have a unfunny video with nothing yeah. going on in it. We, that kind we of go thing. 720p because there's like no need for 1080p. It's like um no. Well, it's like. Uh, here's a secret to like the technique when it comes to 720p. If you record videos at 720p and you edit them at 720p, it's going to take up less memory space. Uh, your game will lag less if you record a game in 720p. Yeah. Also, 30 FPS. Like I know it used to be like when you started with YouTube. It was always 30 FPS. There was no 60 FPS. Nowadays... And that's a relatively new thing. I yeah, think, you can you can do 60 FPS, but it's a, it's a capacity thing. So it's like, if you did a 60 FPS video, you've got a video that is so-and-so gigabytes long. And let me tell you, gigabyte long videos take a few hours to upload. So that's why we oh, don't, that's why we don't <laughs> yeah. upload frequently. It's a time consumer. And my time strain is limited because, like... Uh, let's see, on weekdays, my dad doesn't get home till midnight. And it's not like a parental guidance thing. It's like, my dad... No, it's more like you can't yeah. keep a computer on for like that long. Yeah, <laughs> well, I can on the weekends, and I do. Like, I, I stay up late yeah. at night editing and stuff. So I do add like effort into my work. Because I have a passion for like editing, and it's... Like the one thing I like. And that's a good thing to have. I, like. I can't say I enjoy editing a whole lot. Yeah, I want. I definitely want to play uh, G mod maps with you guys one day. Oh, definitely, definitely, man. And we'll show you like what we use and everything. And actually, oh yeah, that's... actually, like uh, for one of our sub milestones, I actually planned on showing people how to use our server software so they could host their own servers on any game they wanted. Because we have been gaming for so long, we have found a way to host every single kind of private server for every single kind of game. Huh, okay. Any game we want to play, we can, like, host a private server. Like, we... originally we learned how to do it for Hamachi, and then, like, as we started to realize... Nothing is a pain in the ass. LAN networking became a bigger thing because of YouTubers, so stuff like Tungle came up, stuff like Evolve came up. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> Evolve is one of the easiest ones to use, I will tell you that right now. Yeah. So easy. Mm. so uh with that really appreciated the interview man thanks for that and yeah yeah thank you like definitely if you feel like it we'll definitely let you join us for some games and stuff like more than gary's mod you know we got more games and if like you get, well you get more games you can join us in that hell like definitely yeah i've got a lot of games on steam and you've got me on steam now so just if you want to play anything just yeah let me know yeah sure, do man. Something. sure. Uh, thank you very much. Um, yeah, and yeah, thank you very much for the interview, and uh, I'll do it again anytime. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Thanks. And like, I guess since we could probably be hanging out more, you'll let us know an unusual adventure and stuff. So. Mm. Oh yeah, we're all friends now. <laughs> yeah, we're all friends now. You know, <laughs> you're friends with like five other guys you haven't even met yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I need I need testers for a new adventure into mission, and you'll be oh, uh, oh, you'll be the first to know. Oh, How about that? S that sounds great, man. I accept that offer. We all do I, oh, automatically. Man. That right. sounds great. <laughs> you got a new game, and I got some testers. That's all right. All me. right, sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, man. Thank you very much. Ah, you're welcome, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this has been the unusual adventure interview. Uh, see you next time.